And my friends, there's breaking news out of Rome, rather severe breaking news. Pope Francis has just issued guidelines on the blessings of same-sex couples. LifeSite News correspondent, Rome correspondent Michael Haynes is on the scene and providing you up-to-the-minute coverage. Wanted to give you this because it's so severe, it's absolutely unbelievable. And in fact, you will get uh, the, you know, people will t try to do the same, explaining they always try to do, well, maybe he's talking about blessing individuals. No, it's very clear in the text. It's about blessing of same-sex couples. Let me read to you from the report, and please go to lifesitenews.com for the full story from Rome correspondent Michael Haynes. So this was issued today on December 18th. It came without announcement. It was about the possibility of blessings for couples in irregular situations and for couples of the same sex. So in case there was any confusion, they actually blast through the confusion for you. So let no one tell you it's not about blessing same-sex couples. Like we said in the beginning of the, do, uh, of the Synod, when the dubia questions were answered for the five dubia cardinals by Pope Francis, he was ta talking not about blessing of same-sex marriages make very clear. And as I told you before, that's how every country got to same-sex marriage. It was all about first the blessing of unions, uh, of acceptance of same-sex unions, not marriage, not marriage. In fact, we were told by politicians in Canada and elsewhere, oh, if we have the unions, therefore we won't have the same-sex uh, marriages, which of course was absolute nonsense. But here we are in the Catholic Church, something that is impossible for the Catholic Church. You cannot bless sin, as Bishop Strickland, Cardinal Burke, Bishop, uh, so many bishops have begged and pleaded with Pope Francis not to go down this road. He has gone down it, showing himself to be a false prophet, showing himself to be the trying to lead a church in a totally different direction from that of Jesus Christ. And that can't be. And so here's the continuation. Um, <clears throat> was presented by, of course, Cardinal Victor Manuel Fernandez, who is the heretical bishop who was appointed by Pope Francis to head up the new dicastery for the doctrine of the faith, used to be congregation. And so this is as official as it gets. And the wording is such that it can't be redone or undone. The declaration is called Fiducia Supplicans, also titled in English, on the pastoral meaning of blessings. And it's in several languages, of course. <clears throat> And uh, introducing the text, Cardinal Fernandez says that several questions that have come to this dicastery in recent years are being here answered and uh, actually harkens back to the answer of the Pope to the Dubia Cardinals. And then he says, and this is the key quote, within the horizon outlined here is the possibility of blessings of couples in irregular situations and of same-sex couples, the form of which should not find any ritual fixation on the part of ecclesiastical authorities in order not to produce confusion with blessing proper to the sacrament of marriage. And so, yes, again, it's let's not confuse it with marriage, but you can indeed bless same-sex unions. Now, again, what's going to happen to priests in Canada where there are hate crime laws? They're going to say, oh, I can't do that. It's against my religion. And the authorities can respond, oh, no. It's per your religion that you can do this. So if you refuse, then you are perhaps guilty of hate crime because you're doing this of your own accord. This is absolutely impossible for the Catholic Church, and yet it's happening under Pope Francis, who's showing himself more and more every day to be a false prophet. And we have, within minutes of the announcement, minutes of the announcement, which means, of course, he knew beforehand, Guess who tweeted out, hooray, hooray, none other than Father James Martin. And here is his tweet. It was, along with many priests, I will now be delighted to bless my friends in same-sex unions. Go to lifesightnews.com for the full story. Please pray for us. Support us if you can. We're just in the end of our drive for this quarter Please support LifeSite News. Go there for the full story from Rome correspondent Michael Haynes. God bless you.